Hello, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it's International Women's Day today, so I thought I would, for those of you who know me, I am a poet, I'm also a visual artist, I'm also the editor and managing founder of Black Bright News, the magazine, as well as this channel. So I'm going to recite a poem. Um, the hashtag is She Inspires Me for International Women's Day. And it's a dedication to my mother. Basically, she came to the country while she was pregnant with me inside her. And she um, didn't know what her plans were when she came here. So this is this poem and it's called Time Doesn't Heal the Pain. Oh, mama, you poor creature. You came to a country where you knew not your future. Your corpulent belly protected me from harm temporarily. My father asked you to stay, but you turned him away. Your pride could not deal with the hurt you concealed, so you left your home without a word to anyone. Your pain and affliction, your pain and affliction became an addiction, causing you to choose a route with such predilection. When you recall him, Mama, you're filled with such hate. How could such an encounter determine your fate? You decided to sail from one place to another, leaving behind your mother and father, only to discover that cold winds and expressions would serve to teach you a different kind of lesson. What could I do? I was a parasitical amoeba designed to feed off of you. Mama, how did it feel to leave my papa, your mama, your papa? Were there millions of tears when compelled to leave relationships developed throughout the years? How did it feel to leave palm trees and blue skies to a country that is cold, full of prejudice and lies? How did it feel after making your plans to discover you had conceived for a married man? Was it his fair face or his warm embrace that enchanted you towards that secret place? Was it his style that believed that deceived you by guile or his charismatic attest that made you accept? Do you despise him, Mama, because of that pain? You never, ever mention his name. Do you resent me, Mama, because I look like him? The bout of time is long in breaking. It was so long ago, and yet you're still so cold. You still cannot forgive him so that we can start living. So that was an inspiration to my mother. I've also got one more dedication to my mother, and this is for International Mother's Day. My mother. Chocolate brown mother proud and elegant, parallel to the Statue of Liberty, made of stone, steadfast, upright, and in her mind, alone. Ebony-faced mother, bow-shaped bow, bow lips, eyes like peony wallies, shooting arrows of disdain, flashing in the dark tunnel, searching for something long gone. Refined, eloquent, a voice that lapses into Jamaican dialect on reflex when she gets vexed. Camouflaged with pride, resilience, strength, exuding from her a sense of character. That's my mother. And that's all for now. And that's for International Women's Day. Bye-bye.